Hi there, pile one. If you chose the rose quartz uh, palm stone, this is going to be your reading. We're gonna be checking out what major shifts are coming your way in the next three months. And this is a time, this is a timeless reading, so it doesn't matter um, at what point you're watching this video, okay? Whether it's, you know, right after I posted this or three years later, it's timeless, okay? So three months uh, starting at the point right now that you're actually viewing this video, okay? So let's get to it. All right, so the first couple of Oracle cards that we're gonna look at, and actually there's three of them, <laughs> is just gonna give us kind of a basic theme for um, the next three months, okay? Kind of giving us an idea where this shift is happening, all right? And we have the ninth house about faith. So the ninth house is ruled by the sign um, Sagittarius, which is also ruled by Jupiter. So it's all about expansion, um, you know, opening up ideas. And so there's definitely a sense of um, your spirituality, your mind opening up to new things, embracing new ideas and new concepts when it comes to spiritual uh, things, you know, things of a higher realms and stuff like that. Um, definitely maybe even a sense of awakening, okay? Sensitivity is coming um, to different dimensions, possibly an increase in intuition, um, your psychic senses opening up, stuff like that. And so we're going to get more of an idea of exactly uh, where that's happening. So we know it's in the area of faith or also spirituality. Uh, there's also kind of a special note in here. Um, if you're a writer, that's coming up. Um, philosophy, psychology, just things of higher learning, okay? It's a whole different, you know, maybe even long travel. Uh, there may, for uh, some of you, this may include a trip to a very spiritual site that might even um, either trigger an awakening or help your awakening as it continues to unfold, okay? All right, so these next two cards are just kind of a continuation of... Uh, of this one over here here we have take note your answers are being given to you quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered okay so definitely okay, I say definitely a lot don't I <laughs> a sense of psychic awareness coming up your intuition is going to be heightened all right your connection to your higher self connection to guides and whatever answers you're looking for they are going to be provided all right let's check this one out right here this was the next one that popped out it says persistent drive see what you desire and move toward that goal it is time to zero in on your purpose use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome so a major shift in the area of your purpose okay so if that is something that has been on your mind lately a desire in your heart um, whether you know what your purpose is or not it's more of like feeling connected to whatever your sense of purpose is okay wherever you're at in your journey in regards to your purpose if you know what your purpose is this is going to kind of help you get the ball rolling okay if you don't know what it is this is going to the shift is going to help you to connect to it solidly so there's going to be clarity um in a sense of you know finally things are going to start unfolding and happening finally <laughs> all right all right so what do we have now we are going to be looking at the energies that are fueling this shift okay this transformation that is coming we have the storyteller in the area of the solar solar plexus i'll go over these one by one wish upon a star third eye we also have the land between more third eye energy okay so a lot of energy is going to be hitting your your third eye 
Definitely. Okay, so storyteller is all about the stories that you tell yourself, the stories that um, that are used to uphold your deeply held beliefs and convictions about life. There is a major shift coming in your in the way that you identify yourself at your core. Okay. Uh, in a sense, I'm feeling like there may be some cognitive dissonance. Some of you, this is going to be a major shift in the area of like, you know, you were ra you were born and raised in a certain kind of a religious environment and then an awakening, some kind of an awakening happens and it takes you in a complete opposite direction. Like it completely opens you up to whatever the truth is that you're going to per perceive, okay? And that's going to lead to dissolution to a lot of the harmful and hurtful and, and self-sabotaging and self-limiting things that um, have been keeping you from fulfilling your higher purpose, all right? Definitely some sense there. Um, wish upon a star. This is all about dreaming big. Something about this transformation, the the point right before, something about the before the shift has been causing you to not dream big enough. You've been keeping yourself small. I'm not sure if I want to say that you've been afraid to. Some of you probably have been afraid to. Maybe there's been some way in the way that you were brought up, something about the a spiritual sense or the religious texts or something that you were brought up that kind of made you feel like those things aren't possible for you or they're only possible for a certain amount of people for the chosen or whatever and that's not you um this shift is going to open a whole new a whole new world to you a whole new field of possibilities like you're truly going to get a sense of nothing is impossible nothing is limited for you the only thing that's going to limit you is the stories that you tell yourself about what you're capable of doing. Okay, and then the land in between, of course, with any, any transformation, there's going to be a period between the knowing and then the reaping. Okay, the sowing and the reaping. So your mind is going to open up to this new amazing world. And it's going to take some time for your outer world to reflect that change, okay? So this is just letting you know, it's going to be so exciting, you're going to just be on a high, right? But then things are going to start to settle, <laughs> and then all of a sudden the novelty of the awakening is going to wear off, and then you're going to see, oh, well, I'm still... You know, I'm still living in the same place. I'm still making the same amount of money. I, you know, it's, yes, my perception of the world and how things are and how magical things truly are and, you know, who I am and what I am truly capable of. Yes, that has changed, but I'm still in the same place that I was before the awakening. Well, this is letting you know there's going to obviously be a time between the sowing and the actual reaping. So you start to form these whole new way of thinking. This new mindset kicks off. You're thinking a completely and entirely different way than what you did before. And then, you know, those are seeds. Those new mindset, that new thoughts, those new thinking patterns, those are seeds. And there is a time between sowing the seeds and actually harvesting the harvest of that seed, those seeds, okay? So there is going to be a time of transition where, you know, um, your outer world isn't quite reflecting your inner world and that's to be expected at the very beginning okay just keep up with it and you'll be fine okay next we have some tarot that's going to give us more of a deep dive into this shift okay so here we have judgment in reverse the knight of pentacles Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, reversed, and we got the Page of Cups, reversed. Okay, so, definitely feeling blocked in your awakening. For many of you, um, this shift may have already 
started or maybe you're in like a different phase of it and while you are experiencing these this whole new way of thinking and being there's still a part of you there's like there's still something blocked something's missing out you're not there's a connection that is not being made okay there is a sense of that coming through uh for those of you who are who have yet to experience this shift this is my kind of maybe like a little bit of a caution to let you know um you know spiritual awakenings and awareness it comes in it comes in um in phases okay it doesn't all happen at once it comes in levels, all right? So a sense, yes, a sense of feeling like you're sleepwalking still. So parts of you are awakening, okay? You're a multidimensional being. And so it might be that your mental body has opened up and now you're thinking a completely different way, but you're emo but emotionally you're still kind of stuck feeling the same kinds of ways. You haven't learned, like you're learning how to control your, your mental thoughts, but you're not quite sure how to control your feelings, right? Stuff like that. Um, you know, and so this, this shift is coming and it's also letting you know, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, another part of you. It's not the whole of you. So, you know, um, if you still feel blocked in a certain area, just know it's part of the journey. It's not that you're going to continue to feel blocked all the time. And actually what's coming through is, is feeling blocked in the sense of uh, creativity and definitely finances. Okay, that's mostly where this block is being felt. Like, you know, uh, doing what everyone else is doing and not yielding, not seeing the same kinds of results, not being able to get an idea or a concept or a business endeavor off the ground quite. Um, this shift, though, is definitely going to, you know, the shift, while it might be, it may be majorly spiritual, uh, majorly emotional, you know, spiritual is all of you, right? So a spiritual awakening is going to affect it, the way that you think, the way that you feel, the way that you perceive others and yourself and things like that. It's also going to trickle down and affect other multiple areas of life. And in your case, it's going to be pr very much influencing your finances, your material world, okay, business, career, job opportunities, and this is just letting you know that slow and steady wins the race, okay? Um, if you're somebody that tends to be quite impatient, and I'm not really getting too much of that sense here because pentacles are very earthy. It's very earthy energy. Um, and so earth energy is, you know, very grounded, uh, very steady, steadily paced, very organized, um, very structured, things like that. But for those of you that do have, you know, issues with impatience, this is just more, <laughs> what you already know, uh, more of a nice little suggestion <laughs> that, you know, if you feel like things are going too slow for your liking, that's what's going to win this for you, okay? Um, but there is a an energy, a new energy coming as a result of this spiritual awakening in the area of business and finances. And so it, it could herald a, a new a new business endeavor, uh, maybe going to school to acquire, you know, a new path in, you know, a career choice, uh, just a fresh new start in business, you know, something that's going to affect your, you know, directly affect your finances. And there is a renewed sense of success and achievement also as a result of, you know, this, this shift that is coming in the next three months. So the magician reversed is all about unconscious belief patterns. And this is really where a lot of the block is being felt, or this is where the block is originating from. The actual block is it's hidden. It's subconscious. It's on loop, and this shift is going to zero in on this energy right here so that it can kind of clear the path so that 
whatever you've been feeling blocked about is going to dissolve, okay? Um, it's gonna also help with whatever, um, whatever that has been, it's going to help with feeling blocked creativity, uh, blocked creativity, okay? And lacking, whatever has you lacking motivation to express your creativity and your brilliance in the area of creativity. So perfection could also be like a major, major culprit to that. What, you know, because as far as creativity goes, if you're wanting perfection, that's just not part of <laughs> That's not part of the creation process. The creation process is very messy. It can be very disorganized. You know, it's just, that's not the way that the mind, you know, it's just not the way creativity works. All right, so this energy is going to come through and really kind of zero in on the troublemakers, okay? And really the block is originating here. It's your subconscious hidden uh, thought patterns, but this shift is going to zero in and shine a spotlight on whatever those uh, thought patterns are that are causing um, you to feel blocked and causing you to feel that parts of you have yet to awaken. All right. All right. Now we have um, kind of some guidance from the universe, your higher self, um, maybe some guidance on next steps to take, where to go from here. Um, just how to keep you aligned to help this energy um, unfold for you, okay, to do its job. All right, deception. Uh, someone or something is not what they appear to be. Cunning manipulation and mastery of deception is at play. Only trust vetted people, information, places, or situations. Do not trust blindly. Your intuition is your guiding light. Stay in your truth. Say no to suspicious situations. Do not get bullied or coerced. So, this energy can be from an actual living person. This could also be low density energies, entities, things like that, okay? Whatever, so of course for some of you, and some of you could have both of these issues going on. There are energies at work, conscious energies at work that do not want us to awaken because the, the lower we vibrate, the, the lower density that we are, the more that these energies can feed off of us. And this is people that are alive, <laughs> um, people that have passed, that are still earthbound, um, and then lower density energies that are not of human nature, right? And so just be aware um, and just, you know what, when things like this happen, look at what is triggered during this time, okay? Pay very close attention to how your emotional and, you know, uh, mental bodies are being triggered to respond and work with those triggers rather than giving in to, you know, these self-sabotaging behaviors, whatever might pop up. Use that as time to work. Use it as shadow work, okay? Just be aware it's not going to be smooth sailing. It's not going to necessarily be smooth sailing, okay? Your awakening um, is going to trigger both the good and the bad in people, all right? Because there's just whatever you're awakening from could very well challenge someone else's way of seeing, thinking, and viewing things, all right? And that's not an easy thing for a lot of people to handle right away. All right, next we have... Hidden enemy. Someone is trying to sabotage you. This person wants you to fail and will celebrate your losses. Be discerning. Do not volunteer information you want kept secret. There is someone who wants what you have and will try to take credit of your work as their own. Uh, envy, insecurity, and gossip are present. Protect yourself. Okay, so for those of you in this in a new business endeavor, be careful who you tell your ideas to. Be very, very, very careful. Um, again, this could, this could be and or, okay? This could be a person who is living, someone that you have an active relationship in your life. You may even be aware of who, what this is talking about. And it might be in your nature to want to share everything with this person, but this person does not have your best interests at heart. So whatever is happening here, whoever this is representing, 
it's not the time. While you're kind of in the incubating period, you know, wait until you are firmly grounded in your new way of thinking and being before you, you know, shout to the world what's going on, okay? Because they're going, what's going to happen is you'll have these people who are more, more set in their ways, more sure of things, more, um, more certain they will try to persuade you. They'll try to they'll try to use logic and reasoning in, in in quote unquote common sense, right? But common sense isn't always common. It's what people are programmed with. So view this as a gift, okay? And don't just give that gift to to just anybody. Be very very careful who you share this with. All right. Be very careful. Protect it. All right. Um, here we have professionalism. This is an omen to pay closer attention to the way you present yourself in a professional setting. Uh, be on time. Be prepared. Put forth your best self. People in your professional circle are watching you. Your conduct and, worth eth and work ethic are under the microscope. Use critical thinking. Work relationships are highlighted. So this person might be in the work area. It might be a direct competitor of yours. Uh, it might be somebody who... Um, is a competitor some way in your actual workplace like maybe there's a couple of you and you know uh, the, there's two of you who are coming up for promotion that kind of thing so there's definitely forces at work here that are trying to keep you financially suppressed uh, financially suppressed professionally suppressed things of that things of that that nature and It's going to be almost like a second nature for you to just want, because maybe you're so open and so expanded, you're wanting to share this with the world because you're like, this is who I am now. I don't want to hide it. And it's not necessarily hiding it. It's letting this, you know, you got to think about that as a baby, right? It's not fully grown yet. It's not fully formed. You're not really, it hasn't reached its full potential. So you have to be very, very careful with who you share this gift, this baby with, right? not just anybody keep this away from the ears of the people who will want to sabotage that all right here's the last card that we have for this reading and this is a parting message from uh, the universe and your higher self all right and here we have the field of dreams <laughs> and it's just telling you dream big and in this sense if you build it it will come Okay, if you build it with the right ways of thinking, the right ways of, of feeling, um, if you keep your thoughts and your emotions fixated on things to be thankful for, things that are going right, if you build your life around gratitude, that's exactly what's going to be um, attracted to you. Okay, so certainly a huge shift in the area of spirituality. You are certainly going to be experiencing a transformation in the area of well you know thoughts and emo you know, the way you think and the way you feel you're going to see a whole new way of participating in your creativity and most of all it's going to show up in the area of your your finances all right you just have to watch out for these people and more than likely what's coming up is this person's going to pop up somewhere in somewhere in your business whether it's a coworker or it's someone in a competing kind of business type of thing just be very careful what you you say to people be very careful what you post on social media there's someone who's who's keeping a very close eye on you and they're wanting to take you down because they see you as a credible threat okay and you know that's unnerving but also that's letting you know how powerful they see you to be if they didn't see you as a, a formidable um, opponent they would not be trying so hard to um, undermine you and cut you down okay but you got the universe on your side all right it's on your side so no worries all right you guys if this reading helped you do me a favor and smash that uh, like button comment share subscribe do all the things <laughs> and um 
I look forward to reading for you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, hello there, Pile 2. If you chose the Rainbow Fluorite Palm Stone, this is your reading. We're going to be looking at what kind of shift is going to be coming to you over the next three months. This is a timeless reading, okay? So it doesn't matter when you're viewing this video. It's just three months from, uh, you know, the three months following the date of your viewing this video, okay? All right, so let's get to your reading. So the first couple of Oracle cards are going to give us an idea where this shift is going to be happening, all right? And... Oh, we've got the Grand Cross, the Provoker. Mm, there's going to be some tension, or if there already is tension, it's going to be um, reaching its climax. I'm getting um, the image of like a pressure cooker and the lid popping off. Um, so definitely the next three months are going to be... Uh, be a very challenging time. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Let's continue on with the reading. Um, hopefully there'll be some, you know, little nuggets of sunshine in here somewhere. Um, all right, next we have um, polite decoration. Declaration, my, my bad. It says, you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It is time for you to get out of there. It is time for you to get out, to get out there, claim what is yours, and stay in your power. Okay, so a grand cross. I'm actually so the 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 image that I'm getting is that there's like stoplights in all directions, right? And you're kind of like stuck here, but you're feeling blocked in whatever way. This is kind of the energy of the grand of the grand cross. It's coming to a head in, in a certain area and situations of life, right? You know, there's been tension, pressure building up for a while. Something's going to come along and it's just going to be so some kind of a catalyst is going to come along if it hasn't already to really just, just blow shit up basically. <laughs> All right. This right here is letting you know, um, you may feel stuck and you may feel blocked in all directions, but that that's not the truth. It's This is literally telling you that you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. This situation is making you feel like you're backed into a corner and you have nowhere to go. Um, your higher self is telling you that is not true. There is a plethora of choices and options available to you. You just have to get out of the thinking that you're stuck and you have nowhere to go. Okay, so that is some good news. Um, it, the situation feels very limiting and very limited, but actually if you get out of that mindset, you will start to see all the options that are available to you if you would only have the courage to reach out and you know ask for help if that's what you need. Um, you know, just whatever options that are coming up, having the courage to reach out and, and, and take them, okay? Uh, next we have the energy that is fueling this, um, this shift, okay? So the energies that are fueling and supporting this shift that is coming over the next three months, all right? We've got the Rose's Kiss. Mm, that's some good energy, whoops. Then we've got Let It Go. And shining through so we have a so what we've got is um, sacral chakra this is heart chakra and this is throat chakra so um, this is supposed to help you whatever is going on here like this situation has you completely cut off from your feelings from your body from your senses like it's very difficult for you like you're, you're very much in your head it's very difficult for you to get out of your head and into your body and what this is telling us is that the what the destruction of whatever structure is 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 disconnecting you from your body that's crumbling down and what's going to keep you grounded 
and the gift that's going to come from this is going to be reconnecting you to your body, which is where your power truly lies. Um, your mind is a tool. It's not supposed to be where all of your power is garnered and actually it, it never is. If you're in your mind constantly, you're not changing anything. You're not, um, you're not creating a miracle. The miracles happen when you're able to bridge the mind and the body and you're able to um, keep yourself grounded and centered in your body, okay? So in this instance, what's going to help keep you grounded, what's going to keep you connected to your body are, are things that activate your senses, your sense of seeing, smelling, touching, feeling, um, hearing, things like that, okay? And I'm literally getting like the roses kiss, like getting a rose and, and, and tracing, you know, your body with the petals to activate. That gets you centered into your body because you're aware, you're hyper aware um, of what's going on with your body. Okay. So, you know, anything really, you know, go swimming and feel and, and, and change your awareness to the feeling of the water in your body. You know, you can do that by taking a bath, by swimming, by taking showers. Um, sex is part of that. Uh, dancing, singing, coloring, eating, anything that engages the senses of your body and do that on a regular basis. You know, don't do just one thing on a regular basis. Do all kinds of different things. Paint, color, draw, dance, sing. Um, you know, walk barefoot in the sand or the grass or the mud or whatever. Anything to really get you grounded in your body every single day. Okay, and this is going to wake your body back up, wake your connection to your body back up, which is going to somehow um, really pull you through this in a way where you're going to be able to shine through. Okay, uh, we've got the energy of letting go. So this is really feeling like it's connected to an integral relationship in your life. Um... I'm not sure if this is romantic, although for a lot of you, I believe that it is like a, a, a foundational relationship in your life, uh, a marriage, a long-term relationship, like that is going to, um, something in that relationship is going to crumble. I don't know if the relationship itself, for many of you, the relationship itself could actually dis dissolve and the two of you could separate, you know, go your separate ways or something is going to happen where whatever foundation this relationship was built on is going to just completely blow apart. Okay. So definitely it's some, it's some challenging times. Okay. But for some of you, I don't think that this is really a big shock. Okay. Um, but there's been a, for some reason there's, there's been a lingering, you know, even though you know what's kind of going on behind the scenes, and maybe that's it. Maybe there's been a sense of knowing, but you haven't had like concrete evidence or concrete proof or something like that. And so it's kind of like you've been uh, kind of camping out in the comfort of not, you know, truly knowing. Like you have a sense, but you're in denial, okay? And so what this is going to do is it's going to bring you out of that sense of denial because, you know, being blissfully unaware really is not blissful. You got to think of everything in terms of energy. If something is going on in your relationship that you might be trying to stay unaware, the fact that what's going on, whether it's happening behind closed doors or behind your back or behind the scenes or not, that energy is still present and it is still influencing you. Okay, so just because you're in denial and you're turning a blind eye to something doesn't mean it's not still affecting you. Okay, so I really see something coming where you're not going to be able to be in denial anymore. Uh, if you're not in necessarily in denial, but you're just kind of allowing it to happen for whatever reason, something's going to happen where you're going to have to deal with it. Okay. Um, and the energy through the heart chakra is, is coming through to let it go. Like whatever's happening, just to let it go. It's in your best interest. Whatever's happening here 
is seriously affecting your ability to connect to yourself, to connect to others. Um, and when I say to yourself, I mean not just your higher self, but connect to your self-worth, connect to um, your true identity, who you really are and what you're truly worth, which are priceless, right? And so, yeah, it's so, you know, definitely a sense of needing to let it go. And then here we have um, shining through. So, oh, and you know what? I just got such a big sense of relief when I picked up this card because as, as challenging and difficult as this shift, the next upcoming three months might be, if you stay the course, if you indulge in some self-care, okay, really engage in your senses, you take care of your body, um, really pamper, pamper yourself. If you let go of the hurt, whatever's happened in the past, let go and forgive and let go of that poisonous feeling, you know, whatever's going on, face, you know, not wanting to face things. Because this has been muting who you really are, the true beauty that's inside. And you are going to shine through and not just like in a gentle, like, <laughs> you know, meek, um, you know, really muted way. No, it's going to like, boom. I mean, the, you, you are really going to like after this, the pressure cooker pops and, you know, you're released from this situation. While it might be very difficult at first, the outcome of that is you truly shining because this situation has had you on mute for a long time. This situation has, you know, dulled your sparkle. It's muted your shine. And this situation finally being removed is going to help you to come back to who you truly, truly are. Okay, not just in the sense of showing, you know, re getting you reacquainted with your body. Getting you reacquainted with yourself, your true worth. And basically putting you back on your pedestal, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's definitely some good message coming through on that. All right, next up we've got some tarot cards. We're going to be delving into um, this shift a little bit more in detail. We've got the Four of Pentacles reversed. Uh, judgment reverse so definitely a feeling feeling blocked um, uh, feeling asleep to what has been going on around you numbing or blocking out reality of the situation yeah it's a lot of that's coming through the four of wands okay so this is <laughs> this is the marriage card all right so for a lot of you this this shift is happening in, like I said earlier, a very integral, a very important relationship for a lot of you. It's your significant other, okay? Uh, your marriage, your your spouse, your long term partner, um, something like that, okay? For for a very very few of you, it could be a long standing friendship, a long standing um, business partner you know, a family member, someone very important in your life. But for most of you, this is going to be about um, a longstanding uh, romantic relationship, okay? We got the fool in, uh, fool in reverse, and then we have the three of wands. Okay, so we are... Yeah, okay, so... If you're not already starting to, so this, this here, okay, so this energy here has, okay, so, sorry, I gotta get my thoughts, I gotta get my thoughts together. Okay, so this, this situation, um, while you, a part of you has been in denial about it, deep down inside you've been very very aware very aware of what's been going on okay and because of how painful it, it was for you to really be able to face the situation you employed a lot of um self-sabotaging um either addictions or distractions and so there's a sense of um, 
numbing yourself, a sense of excessively distracting yourself, anything to block out the reality of what's been going on in, in this particular situation. Okay. But I feel like you're coming out of that. And if you're still not quite sure about it yet, it's going, something with whatever is going to happen here is going to help you have you courageously facing the truth and reality of what's going on. Okay. Maybe something is going to be revealed where you finally realize this is not my fault. This really, you know, you're not, something's going to happen to where you're like, okay, I've, I've been taking this personally where I, I didn't need to because this really isn't because of me. It's because of whatever debilitating thing is going on with the other person, right? It's really their problem, not mine, but I made it my problem and, and it's had, you know, almost, a, I, want, I don't want to say, but I, it's coming out that way, a disastrous effect on, you know, your life up to this point. And so, you know, this is, if you're not already starting to do this, this is just, you know, giving you a suggestion and an urgent calling for you to um, courageously face the reality of what's going on. Um, you know, releasing whatever avoidance behaviors that you've been apply applying, um, you know, because it's all about removing barriers that have been keeping you from connecting to your true self and also connecting to others because this situation could have caused you to isolate quite a bit, to disconnect not only from others, but also from yourself, okay, um, in ways that are not serving you at all. Um, the fool is, you know, the fear of feeling before you even begin. So this shift that's coming, this is like the end of a, a brand new cycle and it's scaring the shit out of you, right? For some reason, this right here ending, and that could very well be what has been keeping you kind of stuck in this cycle. The reason why it's like deep down you know what's going on, but you've been kind of turning a blind eye to it. You know, as long as it's not being done in my face or it's being, you know, it's being done behind the scenes and I'm not, you know, that might be what it is because the, if this, if this pillar, if this foundation is no longer set, then, you know, where am I to go? And it's, it's the great unknown. But this is just letting you know not to fear, you know, starting before you even begin. It's, you know, don't let the fear of failure stop you. Um, and what the Three of Wands is telling us is to plan your escape. <laughs> All right? Um, pretty much it's, it's getting, it's, it's telling you to get very clear about what you want. Very clear about what you want in a way where it's taking away, okay, what I want is for this other person to change. We can't do anything about that. Um, facing reality, so really sobering, taking a, a very sobering look at reality and looking at it, be like, okay, going forward with the knowledge that this is not going to ever change for the better, it's probably going to change for the worse. And with that knowledge, okay, what do you want? What kind of a life do you want to live? How do you want to feel every single day? And build a plan of attack, an escape plan. Thoroughly plan it out. And then stick to it. Follow it. Execute it. Okay? Definitely, I, I keep hearing escape plan, escape plan, escape plan. Okay? That's the way you're going to be able to successfully... Go in, you know, in the uncharted, the uncharted unknown is by getting very clear on what you want and then coming up with a plan, keeping your eye on that plan and then executing it. Okay. All right. Next up, we've got, um, just general guidance, maybe some steps to take to keep you aligned, to keep you grounded and centered. Um, just kind of to keep yourself, um, your head above water during this time, okay? 
uh, news. So expect important information to come soon. This could come in the form of disclosing secrets, confessions, apologies, explanations, or personal hopes and dreams of the future. This may include receiving communication from someone you are no longer in communication with. Be ready. Pay attention to signs. Um, so definitely tying back. So something is going to be communicated to you where you're not going to be able to just turn a blind, turn a blind eye anymore. It's very, it's very likely the other party in this situation is, you know, if you haven't been able to make a decision that needs to be made, this person's going to make it for you. Or you're going to find out a piece of information that's going to basically, you know now, you have no other choice but to dissolve this partnership, dissolve this relationship, dissolve this marriage or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. Next we have lust. There is an energy of lust, infatuation, primal desire, a risk of addiction, possible sexual addiction, controlling others with sexual energy or manipulation by using lust for selfish gain. This is an omen of a loveless exchange. Emotionally empty and unfulfilling outcomes avoid risky situations involving lust. Okay, so this could be alluding to the other party. This could also be telling you to be very careful during this time who you um, sexually connect to. Okay. Um, for a lot of us, it's very difficult for us to be untethered <laughs> while we're going through, you know, tumultuous times. And so really get a handle. Um, this would be the, what do they call that? The distorted energy of this card that we have here. Okay. This, this energy is very, it's very clean. It's very powerful. Uh, very renewing and recharging. Very fulfilling and life-giving this energy is the distortion of this energy okay this is healthy love so you know that that includes self-stimulation um this is you know not just a loveless exchange this is sexual exchange with people whose energy you do not want to take on okay um this could also be um This could also be what this news is talking about. You might come face to face um, with the kinds of things that were going on behind the scenes that you did not know about, that you didn't even entertain, okay? So there might be some very surprising information about what just the kinds of things this person was doing in terms of um, sexual uh, desires, sexual fulfillment and stuff like that, that is going to just really catapult this situation into this shift. Um, it's going to launch this, basically, okay? Um, this transformation, this shift into, you know, into happening. Ah. <laughs> Man, I'm, my, my own um, communication is feeling very blocked. All right, um, next we have cleanse. The time has come to cleanse your personal space and get rid of toxic energies, implement healthy habits, connect with your higher self and guides and spirit to assist you in keeping your space protected. Be mindful of negative thoughts, release low vibe emotions, let go of toxic people, relationships or jobs, and rise above. So I'm actually getting... Um, like this person leaving your personal space like if you guys share a home together this person leaves like the first thing you need to do is rid your home of anything um anything you possibly can i mean for some of you this isn't going to be possible okay if you can completely rid your house of anything that this person's energy may have saturated if you can't do that then definitely sage the crap out of it okay sage it do any kind of a ritual where you're able to um, infuse your entire 
space, your entire area, every nook and cranny of whatever space you're occupying that you're living in with your loving energy, okay? This feels like an exact, <laughs> a lot of this, so this feels like it's actually, an, uh, it's an exact opposite of these, right? So this is what you're needing to infuse. This energy is what you're needing to infuse, okay? This energy is what you're needing to cleanse, get rid of, okay? All right, <laughs> man. Um, yeah, because whatever this person has going on in the background, very, very toxic for you. Very toxic for them very toxic for anyone that they are participating in this behavior with it is just toxic you know and i don't want to get too by i mean i almost want to say disgusting like count i mean it sucks that it had to get to this point but to be very thankful that you are getting out of this person's energy field because i have a sense like it's just gonna get worse okay like there is some major you need to not only you need to cut cords you need to cleanse your home you need to cleanse your, i mean just everything there's a major sense of a detox that you need to go through uh, not just physically uh, definitely physically okay um like a, definitely some kind of a fast that's going to um not only detox your physical body but detox your body of any kind of um, harmful stagnant dissonant energies that have been picked up from this person over the years okay uh, any kind of a cleanse you know whether it's going to be like a water fast uh, maybe a three-day fast or however you want to do that okay and definitely um, cleanse your physical space as well and yes I'm even hearing your bed okay um, the last thing we have is just kind of a parting message from your higher self. And here we have the talis talisman in reverse. So this is a new deck, so I'm going to have to actually read it for you to do some, uh, to, you know, do it any kind of justice. So here we have um, the talisman in reverse warns that you must be aware of the repetitive patterns in your life. Sometimes the things that feel most familiar carry with them reminders of what you don't want to experience again. Yet, here you are faced with an important choice. You can move forward cautiously or you can look for another path that will take you in a new direction. Consider this. If you've fallen down a hole a few times, why wouldn't you walk around it this time? If you know where the hole lies, treasure that wisdom. Although the universe is unlimited, every individual path has some limitations, accepting that not all not all avenues are available to you at this time is a powerful realization. That said, you don't have to retrace your footsteps either. No matter what, you're on this path to gain greater wisdom, regardless of the choice you make. This is the time to ask others who have been there before for advice and assistance. Their wisdom will awaken your own. So immediately I got a sense of making sure that uh, you don't fall into the same pattern again. So this is, could also represent you as well. Okay, both you and the other person. This is a, a warning not to fall into a similar pattern just to get out of the feeling that this is causing. Okay, not to use lust to numb the pain that this is causing. So, you know, part of letting, letting go is allowing yourself to feel. Having the courage to feel the pain that this is bringing up and, and moving through that pain rather than numbing out, okay? And that's going to help break the cycle that got you in this situation in the first place, all right? All right, you guys, um, that's your reading. Those are your messages. If this uh, video helped you at all, do me a favor and smash that like button. Uh, you know, comment, comment, share, subscribe. I, I really enjoy your feedback. And um, I look forward to reading for you again very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. This is your reading if you picked the Blue Lace Agate Palm Stone. And we are going to be looking at what 
uh, kind of, what kind of a major shift is going to be happening for you over the next three months? This is a timeless reading. So um, the three months start the moment you watch this video, okay? So let's check it out and see what we got. All right, so the first couple of Oracle cards are going to give us the area or a feeling of where this shift is happening, okay? So we've got earth element stability. That feels good, very grounding and centering. And here we have childlike devotion. You are a multi-talented complex being. Embrace and love who you are. So there is a feeling of getting grounded and centered with the truth and the reality of, of who you are, what you're capable of producing, achieving, all of that really good stuff, okay? We're going to get some more information. Let's look at now the energy that is um, powering, fueling, <laughs> and supporting this shift that's coming, okay? We have a powerful move, um, solar chakra energy, or sorry, solar plexus <laughs> energy. We have great and full, so root chakra. We also have time machines, so more root chakra. So we, there's a lot of root chakra energy coming through, which is very much stability, centering, grounding, okay? so. Maybe the maybe prior to this energy, you've felt very up in the air, um, very ungrounded, uh, to and from, um, not quite sure. You know, everything's in the air, and you don't know where it's going to fall. Um, I get a sense of things starting to settle, things finally becoming predictable, and a very centered feeling of knowing a, a certainty very much a feeling of certainty which you may not have had for quite some time okay um so a powerful move is just like take action the time for rest is over um i know when it comes to earth energy earth energy feels very you know slow and steady but I feel like once everything settles down, um, then you're going to know exactly what needs to be done. And this is like a very powerful guidepost to once the dust settles, once everything has settled into place and you can you get a very good idea of where to start. This is saying, okay, now it's time to go. Uh, time to, you know, pull the trigger and run. All right. In whatever direction you see to run. Uh, great and full so that's this is all about the feeling of gratitude okay grounding yourself in a sense of gratitude looking at things in a perspective of okay where is my cup full where is it full at being grateful for all the things that are that are still going right being and even being grateful for the things that have gone wrong because that pretty much shows you where you've been focusing your energy in areas that have not been for your best and highest good. So even be grateful for those things as well, you know, lessons, you know, the message uh, in the mess type of thing, okay? Then we have the time machine. So looking at things in your past and in, like I said, the mess in the message. So going back and looking at where, you know, past patterns, past behaviors, past responses have not worked for you in the past. Okay, so um, getting a very good picture like this said, um, you know, embracing and loving who you are, that includes your past. That includes the mistakes that you've made. That includes, you know, um, no, not knowing what you thought you should have known. Okay, if fully embracing who you are, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the very beautiful, okay? All right, um, next we have uh, some tarot here that's going to give us more detail into this shift that is coming. We've got the Seven of Swords. 
So that's just more uh, that feeling of things being very unpredictable. Um, even tricky, like, <laughs> you know, if it's not necessarily people feeling tricky, it's just like, ah, you know, where did that come from? That just snuck in there out of nowhere type of feeling. Um, you know, but the sense is going away. So this is letting you know things are going to stabilize. Things are going to get very grounded. Things are going to get very, very predictable. So this energy is passing. Um, definitely feeling like, ah, uh, you know, all, all doors are closed and secured, so nothing tricky, nothing sneaky, nothing like that is going to be able to happen, okay? Very good, very, that feels very secure, very certain. I love that feeling. And uh, next we have the Five of Wands reversed, and that's just, you know, frivolous battles, bickering, um, needlessly comparing yourself to, you know, others, um, battling with with others immature egos um, brittle egos senses like that then we've got the levers in reverse so this is restoring harmony and peace and balance in relationships and the need to do that so part of what was unstable may have possibly been a very um, important relationship in your life um, and this you know the lovers itself is a very soulmate kind of card um when this comes up it usually is talking about a soulmate a soulmate and or karmic connection okay so stability may be coming in this connection as well okay but there is going to be some work on your part you know it's not just going to fall in your lap um this is just kind of a conscientious part on you to look at where you may have paid, played a part in the drama, owning that and then looking at how you can show up differently to, to restore harmony where you can, okay? We've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed and then we've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. Definitely a feeling of um, losing your balance when you're juggling, okay? A lot of unpredictable things happening and getting a sense of, you know, you have, you've got too much stuff in the air. And it's like, I can't possibly juggle all of this. It's just way too much. And so, you know, you're concentrating too much on trying to juggle everything that's going on. You've lost your sense of humor. You lost your sense of childlike devotion. You know, you've, you're you losing the sense of who you really are because you're, you're focusing on everything that's up in the air and you're trying to keep it all going, right? And so... um. Yeah, so they're definitely, all of this energy is being reversed in a good way. All of this is dissipating, <laughs> all right? So um, everything, good and bad, okay? Stability is coming that is good. Some things may fall that you didn't want to fall, but you got to look at things on your plate and truly ask yourself, do, do I seriously need to be dealing with that right now? And maybe it's just that you need to um, look at everything that you're trying to juggle and minimize your workload you know if what three things can you focus on right now and what can you delegate off what can you let go of what can you you know take off of your plate completely you know what can you give to somebody else to handle kind of thing okay um the knight of pentacles this has me feeling like you're bracing for an impact and then maybe that's because you have all this stuff in the air and you realize you're losing your grip on a lot of these. You're losing your focus. And so it's like you're, you're, you're bracing for almost like a sense of evil foreboding. Okay. Um, very overwhelmed. Overly stimulated. But that this is coming to an end. And again, some stuff may have to fall. And that may show you exactly where you need to focus your energy on and what can be delegated to other people 
and what can be completely removed from your plate altogether, okay? Remember, we're bringing back our sense over here to, you know, all this stuff I know feels very overwhelming, but a sense of stability, some shift in this is going to happen to where it's going to bring you a sense of peace, a sense of stability, a sense of feeling grounded, and a sense of knowing what is going on and knowing that you can um, handle what's happening and what's going on, okay? The sense of overwhelm and, and feeling overstimulated is, is, is going to pass, okay? In a good way. All right, so uh, what we have next are just um, some guidance uh, from your higher self, your spirit guides from the universe, uh, good stuff like that. Hero says you are on a hero's journey and the hero of your journey is you. Be brave, patient, and make calculated moves. Be discerning about others around you. You cannot go to war with someone else if you don't give them one. Don't let anyone bait you to get you to fight. Rise above the storm. Don't give in to anger and show wisdom. And this kind of corresponds to the five of wands reversed energy. Uh, you know, mindless bickering, it's really not needed. Um, you know, this goes back to, does that really need, does that really need to be addressed? Does that, re you know what I mean? Some issues do need to be handled right away. Some really don't. A lot of things that are going to be coming up is just kind of a, just, just needless ego battles really is what it is. And so like the lovers coming in is letting you know, you know, you have a major part to play in, in restoring harmony and balance to the relationships in your life. Um, not everything needs to be a battle, so pick your battles wisely. Um, and maybe just a sense of learning um, effective communication. But really what you're going to end up be, you know, just doing though is just letting go of a lot of things. Just realizing like, yeah, that that's not worth my time or my effort. I'm just going to let that go. You know, because at the end of the day, that's not really going to affect the outcome. Winning that fight is not really going to affect the outcome that much. You know, energy like that, okay? Next, we have graduation. Congratulations, you have graduated from a really difficult le uh, life lesson. You can breathe a sigh of relief for overcoming your situation. This can also be an omen to confirm certification for completing a program, uh, uh, educational course, or personal goal. This marks the end of a cycle. You have made it to completion. So that could be part of what you're juggling. Yeah, so I mean, if you are juggling, you know, uh, being a mom, being, you know, a significant other, being a spouse, you know, working and all that stuff, um, stuff is going to start wrapping up and things are going to settle into a, a routine that you can handle without really feeling like you're juggling too much at one time, okay? And whatever this life lesson, I mean, this could mean an actual graduation of some sort, okay? you know, like it said, a completion to a cert certification or anything like that. Um, yeah. Awesome. For some of you, that's go definitely going to be true. Um, next we have serendipity. This is an omen that a happy surprise you did not plan for or expect is on its way. The universe has conspired to bring something of good fortune to you. This could be with love, money, health, an unexpected discovery, or recovering something thought to be gone or lost to the winds of fate. This is a favorable game of chance. All right. Happy, happy, happy endings. <laughs> a happy, happy conclusion. Um, so, you know, definitely not only are you going to feel a sense of stability, a sense of groundedness, a sense of man, like finally that sense of overwhelm and that sense of feeling overly stimulated is going to pass. It's like you're, you're, you know, blessings abound. So there's really a sense of, of joyful, um, celebration coming. Happy surprises. Oh, I love that. You guys pile three. I'm loving this reading for you. Okay, last but not least, we have um, parting messages, a parting message from your higher self in the universe, okay? And we've got uh, Ride the Wave in Reverse. So this is a new deck. I'm going to actually read this from the, um, the, the guidebook, okay? And this is from the Enchanted Map uh, by Colette Baron reed And what says here... Uh, you may be mistaking a rogue wave 
for a fun ride. You can only coast for so long before you hit the shoreline with a smack. The tide is ebbing and your activities are now preparing you for when that wonderful wave comes in for you to ride. You're meant to learn how to be strong, how to be a strong swimmer now. Don't worry, preparation ensures a successful result. However, you must wait patiently for the right moment to come. Now is the time for conscious preparation and skill building. Yes. All right, so like I said, when everything settles, when the dust settles, you know, um, like, you know, if the balls off, if all the balls fall, you know, you're going to find out what really is important and what's not important, what you need to focus on and what you can let go of. Okay. Um, and when that happens, you know, you're going to know where to focus all of that energy on, what path, what, what skills, um, what tasks that powerful potent energy needs to be focused on okay because not every like like um like this card was saying not every you know um tidal wave that comes needs to be ridden okay where did it go <laughs> oh my gosh i got so many cards up here there it is yeah like this is saying not every wave that comes your way is is the one for you to ride okay um you're going to know exactly what to do when the time comes and so just you know wait for that perfect perfect wave because once everything settles you're going to know exactly what to do and how to do it okay those were your messages pile three if you have um if you enjoyed this reading if it added any kind of value to you do me a favor and smash that like button um comment share subscribe if you haven't already and um I will look forward to doing another reading for you very soon. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Hi, Pile 4. This is your reading. If you chose the, I believe this is Yellow Jade. I'm not really quite sure <laughs> what kind of stone this is. Um, we are going to be looking at what major shift is coming your way over the next three months. And this is a timeless reading, so... Um, whatever at whatever point you are re, uh, watching this video it starts at that moment this moment with you okay all right let's get to your reading so the first couple of oracle cards that I have for you is going to let us know what area that this shift is going to take place mainly and we got the black moon oracle and a lot of heart chakra energy coming through so um, a major shift is coming in the area of um, your relationships, your relationship to others, your relationship to yourself, and definitely in the area of emotions and feelings, okay? So, if you're someone who isn't very comfortable with your feelings, or maybe you're not very um, comfortable with sharing your feelings with others, something's going to happen, some kind of a transformation and a shift um, with your emotions is going to come forth in a good way okay uh, definitely more power coming through as far as the heart chakra is concerned definitely a feeling that your your heart is going to be opening up uh, allowing you to connect to yourself you know your body um, if you've been living a lot in your head and you have a hard time connecting with your heart and your body this shift is going to help that okay um and we'll get more into the reading to figure out exactly how this shift is going to unfold and here we have childlike devotion you are a multi-talented complex being embrace and love who you are look at all this green and of course the fish is in the water which you know cancer is a water sign all about emotions so you're you are certainly going to be made very aware of your emotional body in a good way it may feel disconcerting at first especially if you have been disconnected from your uh your emotions from your body the two are, are interconnected um but this is always a good thing it's never a good thing when we're living all the time in our heads and we're not connected to our heart okay 
So this is definitely going to be a shift. I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be a, a major, major um, key puzzle piece that has been missing. If you feel like you're not connecting, really connecting to other people, connecting to your family, to your spouse, to your kids, you know, the people that you really do have a lot of love for, but you feel like there's a block in that connection, that's where this shift is happening, okay? All right, so next we're going to be looking at um, the energy that is fueling or powering this shift, the energy that is holding it up and supporting it and giving it life, okay? Uh, we have healing the heart, more heart chakra energy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so heart healing, feeling the world. And that is uh, sacral chakra energy. So sacral chakra is, you know, creativity. It's also um, uh, sexual awareness, sexual issues, money awareness, money issues, things of that nature. And then we have seeing beyond third eye chakra. Okay, a really good balance of energies here. So we didn't, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Um, and this is what's powering the, the, tra the this shift and transformation. So a lot of healing from the past, past traumas, past transgressions, things that happen in childhood, um, early adulthood, things that you may have been carrying around with you. A lot of emotional baggage is going to be released from you over the next three months that is going to allow your heart chakra to open and expand so that you are able to lovingly embrace, you know, energetically the people whom you are close to and even expand your circle. So, and of course we have the childlike devotion where this is very much the connection to yourself that is going to be healed, okay? Because it all starts with you, yes, it's very good. We need other people. We need to be in the presence of, you know, other people's energies, but we are better with the energies of other people when we are comfortable with our own energy and our own self, right? So yes, this shift that is coming is going to be so healing for you. And I feel for many, many of you that this is the missing puzzle piece that you've been asking for. Uh, feeling the world so you are going to feel so much love so so connected to um, not just people but to you know the earth to nature to just energies in general and you know this may increase your sense of empathy so there's kind of a I don't want to say a warning, but <laughs> when we increase our sense of empathy, we feel everyone else's emotions as well. And that can be the good ones and, you know, the not the, in the heavier ones. So just know that if, you know, you're going about life and all of a sudden, you know, you're hit with some pretty heavy emotions, you're not sure why, more than likely it's you're picking up on the emotions of other people. Okay. And then seeing beyond, um, I feel that your your energy your higher self is actually in your heart chakra area okay so opening that area expanding that area is going to certainly expand your self-awareness your awareness of higher dimensions um, it's gonna going to give you the ability to receive messages as well as communicate them psychically and intuitively okay you're going to become much more sensitive in your psychic and intuitive abilities very very amazing all right we've got some tarot cards here we're going to be looking at um, this shift uh, in detail we've got the five of wands reversed so a feeling of unnecessary like battles bickering this could be alluding to you know um, personal relationships or just relationships in general um, a lot of egoic 
uh, battles going back and front, uh, back and forth. So definitely some egos clashing. Uh, we've got the Eight of Wands. So something's happening very quickly. The King of Swords, and I'll I'll put all this together after I get everything uh, laid out. The Eight of Swords. And then we got the Five of Swords. So yes, definitely a feeling of being all up in your head. <laughs> okay, so. Give me a second, you guys. All right, so let's start here. The Eight of Swords is all about false imprisonment by ourselves, you know, self-limitation. As you can see, this woman is blindfolded and she is loosely bound. She can easily um, wiggle out of those binds, but fear is keeping her encased. All she has to do is, you know, wiggle out of those binds and take off that blindfold and then she's, she's free. There's, there actually is no captors around her. She's by herself. The only one who's imprisoning this woman is herself and it's her fears. All of that is mental energy. Okay. So this shift that's going to be happening, not only is it going to happen very quickly, it's going to happen very, very powerfully. Um, And whatever is going on in your personal relationships, be it romantic, uh, family, friends, um, you know, maybe in the area of business, if you've got a conflict with anybody that is taking the front burner of your life right now, this shift is going to help you resolve that very quickly. Um, because you're going to be able to communicate from a place of love. So I'm not sure that the relationship itself can be salvaged, but uh, if this is a personal relationship, like a spouse, a long-term, you know, a uh, commitment type of thing, if it's a child, a parent, you know, someone very close to you where an ongoing relationship like that person is going to be in your life, um, you're going to be able to show up in a whole new different way just by the way that you communicate and the way that you show up your whole your energy is going to feel completely different okay where you and this other person or other people even may have clashed because of egos this is what i'm feeling i'm feeling like your ego is going to mature egos you know people talk about ego death that's not necessarily correct <laughs> all that we can really do is heal our ego because the problems that a lot of people have are um, distortions of the ego so you know a lot of problems with immature and distorted egos clashing and you are going to be able to experience a shift and transformation where basically your heart takes over the ego doesn't die but your heart takes over and takes charge. The adult takes over, right? So you're going to be showing up in your life and in your relationships, certainly in your relationships, a whole new, completely different, powerful person where it's almost going to feel like magic, really, because people are going to, you know, if you think about energy, people are going to pick up on this love that you are radiating, this love, the self-confidence, um, the feeling of, you know, just compassion and understanding people, you know, for the most part, most people react very favorably to that kind of energy, which you're going to exude in spades. All right. So very, very, I love this reading for you guys, pile for I absolutely love it. All right. Now we're going to be looking at, um, some guidance from your higher self from the universe, self-image. 
We are perfectly imperfect and must be mindful not to downsize, degrade, or dull the shine of our light. This is an omen to signify that attention is needed on your own self-image or to be made aware of how others around you are seeing themselves. Love the entire being that is you. Be kind to your reflection. Oh my gosh, I love that. So yeah, all this sword energy carries with it a feeling that... Um, you may be overly critical of yourself and maybe because of that you that kind of transposes over to you know being critical of other people but having that energy also uh, makes other people overly critical of you even if you're not serving up criticism to other people because you are so critical of yourself um, that's attracting people to you that are also going to mirror to you what you are feeling about yourself okay so this is just letting you know this um this healing that's coming is going to start with you and how you see yourself like i said you're going to start viewing yourself through the lens in the mirror of love of very of unconditional love okay so like i said we're not we're not killing the ego okay we are healing the distorted ego so that you are able to use it more as a helpful tool rather than something that's just been unchecked for so long, okay? All right. Next, we have ancestors. Your ancestors have heard your prayers and questions. The time has come for you to receive signs, dreams, and messages from those within your lineage who wish to pass down valuable wisdom to you. You are surrounded by those who love and support you. They are with you. You are never alone. So... If you've been asking, say if you have some past, some um, loved ones who have passed even recently, and you've been asking for signs, and maybe you've been very, um, getting maybe being disappointed or feeling just like you know uh, not neglected but like you've been asking for signs and you haven't really been able to receive them it's not that they haven't been sending them it's that you've been so stuck in your head they haven't really been able to reach you because we are connected to that energy through our hearts so you know all the ego all our mind really does is help us to interpret what the what comes out of the heart and so if you are cut off from your heart you're not going to be able to get any messages to encipher so, you know, you asking for guidance from your ancestors, they are certainly helping to fuel this, this um, shift. And they are happy that they're going to be able to um, communicate with you much more clearly and for you to actually pick up on their signs and their messages, okay? All right, now we have revision. It's time to renew, review, and take a second look at your circumstances. Revision is needed for your situation. You don't have all the facts or information. Dot every I and cross every T. Don't, ru don't rush the process because mistakes can be made. Changes made now will save time and energy later on. All right, so whatever... Um, whatever... I don't want to say legal matter. For some of you, it may be a legal matter. Whatever, what's that word I want to use? Like, you've got something official going on, <laughs> right? If you're starting a business, um, if you're signing any paperwork, if you are anything that has to do with legal documentation, paperwork, contracts, things like that, um, this shift in this transformation is going to help you because you when you are expanded in your heart area in your heart chakra you are so much more sensitive to things that just don't feel right okay so you're going to be able to sense that something is amiss where it says here you don't have all the facts or information you're going to sense that all right so that's going to kind of give you that feeling like whoa hold up you know, let me look at this a little bit closer. Like, give me a little bit more time to go over this, things of that nature, okay? So just know that this transformation that's happening is really, it's like you're getting a GPS system. It's like you're getting a compass. It's, you know, your own personal oracle that resides in your heart. So you're going to be connected to divine wisdom and truth and divine knowledge. So... You know, the universe is, it has always had your back. 
um, you're going to now be able to communicate directly with it and your higher self, okay? So last we have um, just a parting words um, in relation to this shift. Uh, just a parting message and it says come together in reverse and I'm going to actually this is a brand new oracle so I'm going to read from the um, the book on this one okay all right so <clears throat> uh, when the come together card appears reversed it is a sign that perhaps a love connection is unbalanced is intimacy being withheld from you or are you withholding it from another Longing and yearning are often mistaken for love, when in fact they are signs of lack. Perhaps you've been doing all the emotional work and pouring your water into an empty well to the point that now you are also depleted. Know this, true love will not be denied you. What is truly for you will never walk past you or require this much energy. Drop the agendas, the fight, the need to win and allow love to flow through you. True love will always find its reflection in another okay so perfect pretty much a perfect cap to what all of this was saying a lot of bickering a lot like it said a lot of energy um, in the area of relationships um, and I love that it said you know real true honest love does not require this much energy and I'll even say this much pain Okay, so it, like it said, it said stop the bickering, <laughs> um, stop the egoic, you know, battles, stop trying to, um, uh, it's the, the will for power, you know, it's the, the battle for power, you know, just let that go and show up in a way where it's completely out of love. Okay, but that's what this transformation, this is going to be, um, the transformation and the shift is coming and it's also going to be something that um, you may have to also learn how to do okay um, it, you know there's when you when stuff happens energetically we also have to make it a habit because you know um, our minds <laughs> are programmed to react a certain way that's where all you know our triggers are there and so when you're triggered this shift is going to help dissolve some of these triggers but some of these triggers might still remain so it's all about when um, that feeling, when you're triggered to get into another argument, get into another bickering situation where it's like, you know, ramming, you know, uh, butting heads with somebody, two egos um, vying for power, that's when you have to choose on purpose to show up differently and out of love. Okay, so maybe even a, uh, maybe even some guidance to uh, learn proper and effective communication in the areas of you know how you relate to others all right but overall this is a very very powerful powerful shift and the shift is mainly happening at the base where it needs to your relationship with yourself how you view yourself how you uh, see yourself how you feel about yourself and then from there it's going to branch and um, positively affect your relationships with those with everybody okay um, so certainly some very good things coming your way over the next three months um, so keep me posted pile four I'm very excited for you this is such a powerful shift such a powerful shift like I said it's the missing puzzle piece for you all right um, well if this reading has about you know giving you any kind of value do me a favor and smash the like button um, share, subscribe, comment if you so choose. And I look forward to reading for you again in the near future. Bye.